Eric Moad with Moade.com. Let's take a look at markets here for the weekend of December 29th and December 30th, 2018. Let's take a look at Friday's close. We can see the Dow was down about 0.3%. NASDAQ was unchanged. S&P 500 was down about 0.12, pretty much unchanged. Uh, we can see here gold unchanged and crude oil was up about 1%. The VIX was down about 4.5.4%. Let's take a look at those charts in what was a very volatile week, which shouldn't be a surprise given where the VIX is trading in the 30s and higher 20s. We can see, for example, here we had a 600 point drop on the Dow. I believe that was on Monday. And then we had a massive 1000 point rally on Wednesday. So plus 1000 and then we can see here Thursday at some point the market was down about six, 600 points only to close up about two plus 200 points. Very volatile. So after such a big week, of course, traders would like to try and understand what the market is doing here. So let's begin with the NASDAQ weekly. And one of the things that is positive for traders net net is the fact that the NASDAQ did bounce on the 30.9 level with uniform activity. Now that might seem very innocent, but remember, if you take the all time, the current all time weekly closing high for the NASDAQ, it comes with uniform activity rejection at the 69.1 level right here. And of course, these two numbers are inverse of each other. In other words, for higher levels 69.1 is the level to watch for bearish levels 30.9 is the level to watch so the fact that we had uniform activity support here is something traders can use going forward to see whether the market can continue building its current support as far as the weekly chart is concerned for the nasdaq we can even draw a level somewhere here which is showing support from the lows of August 2017. We can say that is around the 6,200 price level. So as long as this is holding, just like it did here, we can see that the market should be stabilizing. So as long as we are bouncing and holding above this level, we can say the market net net is in a process of st stability of course at some point should we go on to break below this level down the road then that would be a fresh sell signal now at this point I'd like to take a look at the MACDs and so just by looking at the MACDs generally speaking now that we've been holding both MACDs below zero what this tells us is that the market still has a lot of work to do before it can get back to winning ways. In other words, yes, you can be moving higher, but as long as both MACDs are below zero, what this suggests is that there's a lot of work, a lot of repair work that is going to be done. There's going to be a lot of volatility while the market is trying to stabilize at the very best scenario. Worst case scenario is we continue trading down net net so because the MACDs are below zero net net the market is gonna trade with a bias to either stability or downside price action the best example of what that weekly chart for the Nasdaq is suggesting would be something I would suspect similar to this period where you go up and down but net net you're within a range and this period here in 2018 on the daily happened while both MACDs were trading net net below zero. So we can anticipate the weekly for the NASDAQ to suggest something like that in the coming months as long as both MACDs are below zero. Keep in mind also on the daily most major market averages are trading with the MACD below zero. So net net we can look forward to a market that is gonna, gonna continue to be volatile at the very best we can see here one of the reasons why around current levels we are 
still looking at a market that is stalling after a nice run on Wednesday, Thursday. And one of the reasons could be that we are testing this break that took place during this plunge. So pretty much using our uniformity method, this is where the market is going to have to move above this level. Otherwise, failure to move above this level would suggest that with a confirmed resistance, that the market ultimately might have to test the lows here if the RSI is unable to move above this breakpoint that we saw recent. In other words, failure to hold above this level in the short term on the RSI suggests that there's a good likelihood of testing recent daily lows. We can see the same type of resistance area if we take a look at the NASDAQ 2 hourly chart. And there's a line we can draw that is a back test line. I'll draw it something like that. And what this line gives us is an understanding of the break here on the two hourly resistance here, back test failure for this point. And as of Friday's close, rejection on that line, which is suggesting resistance around current levels, unless the market can move above this red line. So that's one level of resistance that is holding the market back. Keep in mind, we can also draw this a different way, which is figure out where we break down recently. Again, the same level. Take that information and draw our uniformity resistance line. And again, we see this is where visually the market is struggling. So the more we struggle to hold that level, the more what this suggests is that the market is still possibly going to have to test this recent lows here before it can move higher. So the trick here is if the market is going to move higher, it would need to clear this blue line and the previous red line. Otherwise, failure to move above these two lines suggest that the next meaningful direction in the short term is for this market to swing trade to the downside. That concludes the free portion of this video. Otherwise, for paid mother.com subscribers, let's continue on. Take a look at other market sectors, world market charts, and take a look at Bitcoin and also commodities. Otherwise, for the rest of you, enjoy your weekend and do have a prosperous and healthy 2019 year ahead. Let's continue on.